Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the episode synopsis for the 150th episode starring Bart Allen, XS, and Jay Garrick. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we are getting back to daily videos, so please be sure to check out the channel every single day. Go back and watch all my latest videos if you haven't checked them out. I know that The Flash isn't super interesting, but it is going to get really interesting right now with the return of Godspeed, so you're not going to want to miss any videos. So whether you're new or you're normally here, or if you're just checking in for the first time in a while, please be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the synopsis for episode 17 of season 7, aka the penultimate episode, so the second to last episode, aka the 150th episode of The Flash ever. So it's a big milestone episode and a lot of stuff is going to be going down, so this is how the synopsis goes. Excess and Impulse surprise Barry and Iris on the 150th episode of The Flash. Barry and Iris greet their future children, Excess and Bart Allen only for a shocking secret to threaten their new familial harmony. Meanwhile, the Godspeed War intensifies and threatens to destroy Central City. So this is super exciting. I love the synopsis, it teases just enough to get everyone excited about this episode because like I said, it is a big landmark episode. The 150th episode was made a big deal out of on Arrow. They did that kind of documentary style mock-up episode and it was pretty good. I think this is more in line with how The Flash and Arrow and all these other shows have done the 100th episode where they had the big milestone episode. If you remember for Arrow, the 100th episode was in the crossover and we had it way back when it was Heroes vs Aliens and like a bunch of the old Arrow villains all showed up at one time and same happened in The Flash's 100th episode which saw the return of Savitar, Reverse Flash and also Zoom. And so, in the same vein as that, we are being introduced to brand new faces and also the return of two speedsters who have played a big part in The Flash's past. So it's essentially a reverse of the 100th episode because we had all the returning villains, now we have all the returning speedster heroes and with the addition of Impulse. And so, let's give this synopsis a little breakdown. So, Excess and Impulse surprise Barry and Iris in the 150th episode. So from this, you can infer that they mean Excess and Impulse are coming back together because if they both surprise him I'm pretty sure they're coming back together and they wouldn't just be like randomly at the exact same time Time traveling to this one specific spot where they both show up like one after the other or at the exact same time I think that would be way too much of a coincidence So I think the idea of them actually being twins or them being siblings in the future Definitely makes a lot of sense. They may be the tornado twins. I'm not 100% sure However, it is very interesting that they are going to surprise Barry and Iris together. Okay, so Barry and Iris greet their future children. Obviously, this is going to be the first time that they've met Bart Allen. Obviously, they've met Nora before. We don't know if this is the normal version of Nora or if she's been changed by Crisis at all. Because the last time we saw her, she was erased from reality. So that's a big deal that she's coming back because we don't know if it's going to be the exact same version. But XS and Bart Allen are going to be showing up. Obviously, Bart is played by Jordan Fisher. He is probably not going to be around for that much next season because he is working on a Broadway show for quite a while. However, I am expecting him to make guest appearances next season. That would be my best guess as of right now, as I don't think they've cast someone like Jordan Fisher just to have him show up in one episode. I think they could do something bigger than this, and I think they are actually planning to do this because this is going to be like the introduction of Bart Allen and then we need more than just like two episodes because obviously he's appearing in this episode, the 150th episode, and he's appearing in the finale as well. However, you would expect them to have Bart Allen around for at least like half a season, right? Because they had excess around for a whole full season and introducing and teasing her in the season before, just like they were doing with Bart this season. So you would expect him to show up in season eight I don't know if they're going around it by saying, okay, you're going to do this Broadway thing for a while, so you won't be in like the start of next season. However, maybe in the back half, you can take a break from the Broadway show and you'll come into the back half of season eight. Or maybe it's like a two to three episode arc where he comes out to Vancouver for like a set period of weeks 
and then he returns to his show on Broadway after missing like a couple weeks. I don't know if that is possible or not, but that is just a couple of theories about how Bart could show up more next season rather than being a series regular. And so apparently a shocking secret threatens the family. And so what the shocking secret could be is anything from the future really. Like do they have a link to Godspeed and what's going on here? Is that the reason why they're back? Could it be that Bart Allen has some sort of relation with Godspeed and what's happening in the future? Maybe that's something to do with this secret. However, this secret could be absolutely anything. It could be something personal to Bart. It could be something personal to XS. It might be between the two of them. Maybe they both have a shocking secret. And also, you know, it could be someone completely different because it's going to threaten their new family dynamic. So maybe it's something that like Godspeed reveals or someone else reveals that threatens them. Okay, so meanwhile the Godspeed war intensifies and threatens to destroy Central City. So yeah, over, you know, the next couple of episodes, like the last four episodes of the season, this Godspeed war is going to be going on and obviously there is a lot of relation to like the Flash war or I guess more recently Joker war. You know, they could be going down something along those lines. However, I think it's just a matter of they're calling it this because it's you know, related to the comics and they're like, oh yeah, maybe if we say Godspeed War, it's going to get a lot of people interested. And I think it is an interesting way of wording it. Basically, you're going to be seeing like a bunch of the clones showing up in Central City doing the main Godspeed's bidding. And then you're going to get that reveal of the main Godspeed. And also Eric Wallace teased recently via his Twitter, if you guys follow him, that maybe the arc at the end of the season isn't going to end at the end of the season, but maybe it continues on to next season because he put graphic novel number four starts from episode 15 and ends with question mark. So do you think it's going to go further or not? Let me know in the comments down below. I think that is very debatable as of right now, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So I want to talk about some of your guys' questions and theories that you sent in via the community tab. If you have any questions or theories that you want to be included in a video, please be sure to send them over. In the community tab, I would have put up a new post asking for these. So these questions are all to do with The Flash. I'm going to have like a bigger video out soon, but I thought I would include some at the end of this video. Okay, so the first question comes from Ambrose on YouTube who asks, Reverse Flash or Timeless Worlds? Who will wear the yellow suit in the finale? So, yes, Reverse Flash is returning in the finale, and this is obviously Tom Cavanaugh coming back. This is super exciting because Tom is set to leave the show, although he said he wants to return sometime in the future, probably for like a couple of guest spots. Well, he is back and he is playing Reverse Flash. That was confirmed recently via some set photos from Canada Grass and other people. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Reverse Flash. I wouldn't say it's Timeless Wells. I think Timeless Wells is pretty much done for now, unless they want Harrison Wells to actually come back, like they want Tom Cavanaugh on the show. I think that's when you're going to see Timeless Wells return, because he is like the one true version of Wells that exists, and he isn't dead. I think that's the main answer. So anytime he's going to show up again, I think it will be Timeless Wells, but I do think in the finale, is going to be Reverse Flash wearing the yellow suit rather than Timeless Wells. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Anthony Burgess on YouTube who asks, What do you think are the chances that Supergirl is one of the crossovers with Season 8 of The Flash? So, I've talked about this a couple of times, but I wanted to emphasize this because I do get this question a lot as of recently. And so, I think there is a possibility that Supergirl could be one of those Season 8 episodes of The Flash, because if you guys didn't know, The Flash is coming back kind of mid-November when Supergirl officially ends, and obviously they're going to be shooting in the summer, but they're going to be premiering mid-November, and that means that they're going to have to go on a break after about four to five weeks, and they've just announced, in line with this, that they're doing five crossover episodes at the start of the season between the other shows, but only on The Flash, right? So they obviously knew they wanted this and they didn't want to start like a whole big story arc so that it would be like cut off by the winter break because they always have to have the winter break because people are out and people with family and stuff and not necessarily every normal viewer is going to be on their TVs all the time waiting for the flash or something obviously like if it's on Christmas or you know any big kind of day like New Year's Day they're not going to be showing the flash right so 
they do take the break out of precaution and so that's a fact right but in terms of Supergirl showing up in one of these crossover episodes before Christmas I think there is a possibility and I'll tell you the reason why because the flash is going back to film in July and Supergirl is still filming until August apparently and so with this schedule their schedules do align for the start of season 8 and the end of Supergirl's final season of shooting so Melissa will be in Vancouver and so I think there is a chance that this could happen but it's just a matter of will it happen I'm not sure because logistically they've had some troubles with crossing over recently the only crossover that they've been able to do is Diggle showing up on all the individual shows because he's one character and he isn't linked to a greater show so it might be a problem getting Supergirl to cross over however I don't think that's going to be a big deal because I think they figured out a way considering that they are doing this crossover they've confirmed that so that means they are getting characters from other shows to show up that are currently still running so like Superman's probably gonna show up maybe Black Lightning I know his show has ended but anyway people within the Arrowverse who are currently working so it's just a matter of are they gonna have like a week or two to spare for Melissa's schedule and is Melissa going to want to do the crossover and if yes they're totally gonna do it one last time would be fantastic and I'm so in for this However, I'm not 100% sure they're going to go through with it, but, you know, at least we get a crossover with the other different characters for sure. So that is exciting, nevertheless. Okay, so the last question comes from AS on YouTube who asks, Do you think it's possible Chillblain will work with Godspeed? And I think this is a pretty good question. I'm not sure if Chillblain is actually linked into a lot of the Godspeed stuff. I would presume with him showing up next episode and presuming like at least one more episode after this he's going to be somehow linked to Godspeed but probably working with Frost because that's how they've been setting up so I'm not entirely sure that he would be specifically working with Godspeed because Godspeed doesn't look like he's wanting to work with anyone else because he is cloning and duplicating himself rather than getting help from any other villain so I'm not so sure about that, but that is a very good question, and, you know, keep that in mind, I guess. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. Also, remember to go over to the community tab if you want to be featured in one of these videos with your topic or question. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. Go check out my latest videos on the channel, but right here in the top right corner, you can check out my latest Flash video. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. See you.